Well, good morning or good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Abriel R32 here. I literally just woke up, so I am, uh, I am here. <laughs> so uh, smash the air button, boo boo, staying off of that subscribe button as we talk about this Earthbound Immortal support. Uh, yeah, uh, some new Earthbound Immortal support got revealed, and I'm I'm actually quite excited for this. I was actually just now looking back over the old Earthbound Immortal support cards. Um, and I feel like the Earthbound Immortal that's gonna get played is probably Uru. Uh, I feel like Uru is the best one. Um, so yeah, let, let's just go ahead and dive on into it here. Again, I apologize about all the shitty ads. YGO organization is, uh, the, their, their website's great, but the ads is, I feel like I'm on a fucking 2005 website. Anyway, um, quick note to get out of the way, due to the Furigana reading for Earthbound Spirit being literally the English words, quote, Earthbound Spirit, in Katakana and not Jibakuri, or wh whatever, I'm, I, I can't, I can't pronounce that, it does not count as an Earthbound Monster, so either it gets a rename or we get exclusion text in the TCG cards. They're talking about the uh, vanilla monster that's literally called Earthbound Spirit, so, you know, just keep that in mind. It's similar to something like Winged Dragon guardian of the fortress, you know, with reliable guardian and all that stuff. Anyway, so this is Earthbound Prisoner Groundkeeper, level one Dark Fiend Tuner Effect Monster, 300 attack and defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one level five or lower Earthbound monster from your deck or graveyard, except Groundkeeper or the vanilla monster Earthbound Spirit. Also, you, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except fusion and synchro monsters. That's totally fine. Earthbound monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle by card effects while there is a card in the field zone except Earthbound Spirit. Um, so the thing is, the whole gimmick with Earthbound Immortals, they're similar to the Malefics in that the big Earthbound Immortal monsters, there has to be a field spell on the field, on either side of the field. Um, if there isn't, then they are destroyed. Um, and some of them have an effect where whenever they're destroyed by a card effect except by their own effect, then they do some sort of effect. Um, so... And then they all have the same effect where they can't be targeted for card effects or for attacks. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, next up here, we have Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper, level 5 Dark Fiend Effect Monster, 1600 Attack and Fence. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Uh, so if there's a card in the field zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. That's a pretty good extender. Uh, it, you can discard this card, add one level three or lower fiend tuner from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except fusion and synchro monsters. They say that because they're getting a fusion and synchro monster uh, in this support. Um, so yeah, I mean, that that's that's really funny because I mean, like, that doesn't lock you into anything, really. Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker, level three dark fiend tuner, effect monster, 800 attack, 1100 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Earthbound Prison or Harmonic Synchro Fusion from your deck or grave to your hand. That Harmonic Synchro Fusion is busted as fuck, by the way. If you control a level six or higher Earthbound Monster, except Earthbound Spirit, you can banish this card from your grave. Then target one opponent's effect monster, special summon from the extra deck. Shuffle it into the deck, then, you're going, then your opponent can special summon one monster with the same name from their extra deck. So I'm still trying to kind of wrap my brain around this card because you can banish it from your grave, target, let's say the opponent has a Shadal window up. You can target that window, shuffle it into the deck, and then special summon a monster with the same name from the yesterday. So they just get the window back? I don't really get the point of this card. Anyway, um, then this is Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken. I mean, just look at that artwork. As Robbie says, crack a lacking, like fright for cracking, right? It's it's literally a crack, and that, that artwork's cool. So level eight dark fiend fusion effect monster, 2800 attack, 1200 defense. Materials is two earthbound monsters except earthbound spirit. Again, that's the crappy vanilla monster. You can only use the first and second of this card's names effects each once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can have one field spell from your deck or grave to your hand. Thank God Mystic Mind is banned. <laughs> if a monster or monsters is special summoned from your opponent's extra deck, you can destroy as many of their monsters special summon this turn as possible, and if you do, inflict 800 damage to them for each monster destroyed by this effect. That effect is really cool, especially, I feel like the 800 damage is like a callback to Asilla Piscu, where if a Asilla Piscu is destroyed by a card effect, it pops all monsters, I think all cards on the field. No, no, I'm sorry, it's all monsters. Then the opponent takes 800 damage for each. So that's a cool little callback to that. Um, 
And on top of that too, like if, if you're playing against like the new Synchron deck that we're getting in Duelist Nexus, if they go for like, I don't know, Excel Synchro Stardust, you just use this thing to pop everything and deny them like a Baron or whatever it is that they're going for. This this card seems really good, especially too, since it's any two Earthbound monsters. It's not super generic, but I feel like that's generic enough to work and be played in a lot of different things. So then this is Earthbound Servant uh, Geo Grasa Labolas, and then the dub would probably be Earthbound Servant Geo Grasha. Level 10 Dark Fiend Fusion Effect Monster, 3000 attack, 1800 defense, requires one Earthbound Fusion Monster plus one Earthbound Synchro Monster. Must be Fusion Summon, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster, change that monster's attack and defense to zero. Seems pretty good. If an opponent's monster monsters is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can destroy all cards they control. That seems really busted. If this face-up card leaves the field by your opponent, you could special summon one Earthbound monster from your deck or extra deck except Earthbound Spirit. Notice that if it says leaves the field by your opponent. So if this thing gets Kaijued, yeah, you're you're bringing something out to replace it. Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. This is the Synchro thing. This is a big beefy boy. Level 6 Dark Fiend Synchro Effect Monster, 2,000 attack, 1,000 offense, 1 Dark Tuner plus 1 Renown Tuner Monsters. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. During the main phase, so either turn, Quickie, Quick Effect, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Your opponent chooses one of these effects for you to apply. Destroy that monster or gain life points equal to that monster's attack. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can fusion some one Earthbound Fusion Monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned out from your hand field and your grave. Uh, yeah, that, that, that effect of fuse is busted. Uh, and then we have Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin, 2500 attack, 1500 defense, level 8 Dark Fiend Synchro Effect Monster, 1 Dark Tuner, plus 1 1 on Tuner Monsters. Uh, you can only use the first second effect of this card once per turn. Quick effect, you can special summon one Earthbound monster from your graveyard in defense position except Servant, Geo, Griffin, or Spirit. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Fusion and Synchros. So you can just get back one of your big-ass Earthbound Immortal monsters. If this card is destroyed by your opponent, you can destroy one card on the field and inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each Earthbound monster with different names you control and in your grave except Earthbound Spirit. Extra burn damage because it's like, why not? And in case you're wondering, like, what, what is it with all these random effects of, like, burning and gaining light points? That's because a lot of the big Earthbound Immortal monsters have effects that, like, cut the opponent's life points in half or burn them. That's why I said the Earthbound Immortal Uru is going to probably be the one that's used the most because it has an effect that literally cuts the opponent's life points in half. Um... And then there was another one that like makes your opponent's life points become 3,000. So either Uru is the one that puts it at 3,000 or cuts it in half. Either way, there's an Earthbound Mortal that cuts them in half. And then there's Uru, which either does that one or it puts their life points at 3,000. And then you have the, the big whale thing where when, while it's in defense, the opponent can't conduct their battle phase. And on top of that, you can make the opponent take damage equal to half of its defense. So yeah, re really random effects on those cards. Uh, Earthbound Prison, this is a new field spell. When this card's activated, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls. This card gains this effect, negate that monster's effects. Why not? During your main phase, you can normal summon one Earthbound monster. In addition, your normal summoner set except spirit. You only gain this effect once per turn. If this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and you have an Earthbound monster on your field and or in your grave, have your opponent's life points. That's busted. And if you do, negate the effects of all face-up cards they currently control to the end of this turn. This field spell is broken. Uh, they already have Geoglyph as a field spell too, which seems kind of decent. But the fact that now they have another one to play with is just amazing. Um, next up here is... Harmonic Synchro Fusion, um, normal spell, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck turn you activate this card except Fusion and Synchro Monsters. Send two face-up monsters you control to the grave, one tuner and one non-tuner. Special summon one Fusion Monster and one Synchro Monster from your extra deck that can be Fusion and Synchro Summon using only the sent monsters in the grave as material. This card is absolutely busted, ladies and gentlemen. For the price of one spell, and one tuner, one non-tuner, you get yourself a fusion and a synchro. Uh, that that's disgusting. On top of that, if you've got like one of the big ass Earthbound Immortals on the field, like it's it's insane. And then of course you're getting the reprints of a Silipisku, Line Walker. The Greater Line Walker seems uh, interesting as well. This is the one that cuts the opponent's life points in half. Now I remember. Uh, Hundred Eyes, it is technically an Earthbound Immortal Monster, not Infernity Sport, because whenever it's destroyed, you can search for an Earthbound Monster. Earthbound Geoglyph is the other field spell. Um, overall, I'm really liking the support. I still wish, though, that like in one of these anniversary sets, we got Valen's Armor cards, or if we got Darts' as Ori Kalko's cards. I don't know why we're not focusing on that. Like, okay, Earthbound Immortal stuff is cool, but I, I want those cards. I want Valen's Armor cards, and I want Darts' as Ori Kalko's cards. You know, for those of you who watch the anime, you'll know there are still two layers to the Seal of Ori Kalkos that darts play that we still have yet to get that make the Ori Kalkos much better of a card. Anyway, 
That's just me ranting at this point. Guys, let me know what you think about this new support down in the comments below. I think if Earthbound Immortals get even more support, I think that they could be a very interesting deck. They're not going to be tier one or nothing. Don't get me wrong on that shit. Uh, this deck is garbage compared to stuff like Purely. But still, maybe as a rogue deck, if they get enough support or if they're splashed in with another engine, we can maybe see some shenanigans happen that you can't tell me that that harmonic synchro fusion ain't a busted ass card. That card's disgusting. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.